Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 16237. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the fall creators update which is expected to release later in 2017. While this is not a significant update, there are a few improvements. So let's get a closer look at the most worthy changes for this build. Starting with this release, notifications now have been updated so they have an arrow button to dismiss the um, uh, notification as you can see when i hover over you will see a uh, right arrow instead of an x uh, microsoft updated this button to make it clear that you're not deleting the uh, notification instead it will just get pushed out to action center also for the windows 10 fall creators update now every time that you go to action center each first notification in a group uh, will be expanded so it's easier for you to take action on each uh, notification the uh, emoji panel for windows 10 has also been updated uh, before uh, microsoft introduced a new uh, type to search functionality but it didn't include result for emojis 5.0 so now starting with this bill uh, you can actually search all the uh, emojis on windows 10. Uh, furthermore when you open the um when you try to type let me see if i can get the emoji panel open when you hover over an emoji now you will see uh, a tooltip that tells you exactly the uh, name of the emoji that you're trying to uh, select in addition, on Windows 10, built 16237, the touch keyboard has been slightly updated, and but the only change that includes is that now every time that you press a key, you can hear a tap sound. That's, I don't know if you can actually hear that. And that's pretty much everything that's new with the uh, touch keyboard. Also, according to Microsoft, the uh, game bar has been updated with a new game mode icon, but for me, kind of looks the same than before. But let me just show it to you how that looks like. This is the uh, new game mode. And, but one thing you can notice is now the game bar uses a lighter theme, which doesn't change if you switch uh, to the dark mode on your system task manager recently introduced the ability to track gpu performance over time now on build 16237 windows 10 is updated experience with a new interface layout tweaks and now the experience also shows more details such as direct x version and physical location of the uh, gpu on your system however microsoft is also on task manager only hardware gpu will show up in the list and the uh, software only basic adapter will remain uh, will now be visible so if i open task manager right now on my virtual machine i'm not going to see uh, gpu performance anymore but if i i just wanted to show you this is a, on a screenshot from microsoft that shows you how the new uh, user interface has been updated as you can see now you can get the physical location and the version of the direct x that you have on your system now let's jump into the uh the settings up and see what's new on that experience on windows 10 build 16237 there is not a lot new on the settings up but one thing i wanted to point out that uh, I didn't see it before, but when you go to network and internet, now the uh, network status will also tell you if your uh, network connection is set up as a public network or a uh, private network. And you will change that if you go to uh, the uh, properties of the uh, network adapter and you change the um, uh, network profile. And if you go back, you will see now that it says the uh, network status is private. 
on personalization taskbar there is nothing new on this page other than microsoft it just renaming uh tabs for my people with uh, with the uh, word pop and that's and you see that reflected on this option and right here on this option on cortana the only thing new it's when you go to permissions and history and you will see this new uh, cloud search option that allows you to um, exclude or not just not to show uh, cloud search results when you're using uh, Cortana on the uh, taskbar. So you can enable and disable that. And that's pretty much all that's new with the uh, settings app for Windows 10 build 16237. I am not entirely sure when Microsoft introduced this feature, but now on the lock screen, I noticed that uh, users now can uh, reset their password without having to use um, a different machine or to go online and reset the password. So let me just show you really quick that if I go to the start menu and I'm just going to lock this PC and when I try to log in you will now see a I forgot my password link which you can click and that will open a new experience Okay, let's get you a new password. Follow the instructions and I'll be waiting when you're ready. That features Cortana that allows you to uh, recover your account. You will also notice that trying to sign in, instead of saying welcome, now it will just say just the moment. And I don't know if it is on my machine, but I think that uh, Microsoft just, it just changing the wording of the uh, experience. Now let's look into the changes for Microsoft Edge. On this update, now when you try to bookmark a page, you will see a new animation, as you can see right there, that it just tells you that your link has been saved and where to go and find it. In addition, Microsoft Edge is also expanding its read aloud uh, functionality to, to PDF files in web pages before you were only able to uh, get the browser to read text aloud only on epub ebooks so now for example i'm on uh, this microsoft website and if i want to use a feature i just select the text and i right click and i click the uh, read aloud option and you can also find the uh, same option on the uh, main menu is right here below the uh, find on the page and you will see the uh, read aloud option if you click that with build 16200 you will get the experience where you can also change the uh, speed and the voice that you want to uh, hear the text and the same way it works for pdf files uh, finally, on Microsoft Edge, now when you click the uh, uh, new share button, instead of getting the uh, share experience on the center, it will show up below the uh, share button, as you can see right here. And that's pretty much all that's new with Microsoft Edge on Windows 10 built 16.2.37. Other improvements that are going on on this update, it's that Microsoft is just uh, introducing new improvements to help Windows 10 to handle better scaling for high DPI displays. Uh, this only means that applications that become blurry after you're uh, connecting or disconnecting an external display, uh, you will simply now need to uh, relaunch the app to render them correctly again and you don't have to sign out or restart your computer. Also, this update brings a new message box for traditional desktop applications, and now they are, they are per monitor aware, uh, which means that uh, you will no longer uh, see the box blurry when you use a mixed DPI environment or you change the DPI settings.
And that's pretty much all that's new with the uh, Windows 10 build 16 to 37. Uh, remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.